Hey everybody, it's Chris with uh, Funny Little Honey Farm. Um, it's December 31st, it's New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve, so Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, we just wanted to check in, we want to show you what's going on in our grow tent downstairs. Uh, during the winter months, uh, and also very early spring, we do our starts in our grow tent and then we take them outside. Uh, I had a greenhouse once, I've had a couple of greenhouses, I've lost both of them. Um, maybe at our next property we'll we'll do a, a better greenhouse but uh, right now I grow inside in a tent when it's cold outside uh, we grow lettuce I have some basil going and I have some uh, just house plant house plants uh, that were given to me by friends last year you'll see those so uh, anyways let's take a look at the tent we have an algae problem we're gonna work on that um, we'll discuss that while we're in the tent okay here we go uh, we started this lettuce uh, December 21st uh, we started in these news con new containers if you've watched my old videos you know that I usually grow in uh, totes that are a little larger than this and are gray and the lids are black uh, I tried these smaller little plastic totes they're a little more rigid but they're smaller I wanted to see if this would allow the uh, lettuce to grow here the lettuce does grow fine as you can see this is 10 day old uh, lettuce um, not from seed We'll talk about that later. Uh, it's 10 days from since I've put them in the in, in this grow system, um, which is pretty fantastic if you ask me. But we have an algae problem because the totes are white. We have a big algae problem here. And if you look down inside, this I my medium is rock wool, uh, and you can see that it's green. It shouldn't be green. It should be like yellow. So uh, that's algae growing on there. Some people, it's, I mean, it's not affecting this plant yet, but it will because if you look here, this the roots. The roots are starting to get some algae growing on them. So, uh, what I did some research. I've never had algae get to this point before, uh, so I had to do a little research. The research said to try a little bit of hydrogen peroxide, very small amount of it in some diluted water, putting that dilution into your reservoir, which is my container right there. Uh, periodically uh, should help keep the algae down you have to be careful with it though uh, it's a biocide it will kill life uh, with great amounts of it so it's not just an algae side so it can damage your roots so very small amounts of it we're gonna give it a try I think I'm gonna have to clean everything up because I'll open the lid I mean it's kinda green in there so we're gonna scrub all this down we'll take these uh, pods out of there and we'll put them in another system while that's cleaning. We ran this system, we run this system just the same amount of time with no solution in here just to see what the algae buildup would be as an experiment. And you can see that water's pretty green. It's supposed to be clear. So we're going to clean both of these totes out, restart this lettuce, and we'll continue the lettuce growing. And three weeks I'll be eating this lettuce. Maybe two weeks I'll be pulling some off of there. Um, quickly over here, we've got some basil. The basil on the right is looking very bad. The basil on the left, I could probably pull a few leaves off, but it has all gone to flower. So that's coming down. But I've been letting the uh, seeds fall back into the container, so we'll see if they pop back up. Uh, and if they do, great, fantastic. We have more basil going because we eat that a lot around here. Over here in my little house plant section, uh, my friend Kelly, uh, who's also a beekeeper, uh, she gave me this spider plant. It was a small baby plant. Uh, I believe it was this, this summer and uh, I replanted it I put it under the light and it started this little runner that wants to grow all these babies and I am just so happy about that Kelly check that out um, back there I have a pin oak that I'm transferring from my grandparents house um, not sure where I'm gonna plant that yet but it came from my grandparents house so I'm gonna keep that and these little plants right here if anybody can identify those that'd be great appreciate that I got them from my grandmother's house. Uh, she was throwing them out. They were they looked pretty dead. So I took them, I cut them, I, I did some cuttings, I replanted them, and they flowered. And I don't know what they are. If you know, put it in the comments for me. All right, so that's all we have for right now. Um, next week, or the next video, hopefully in a couple days, we'll see what um, these containers look like after I cleaned them out and started using some hydro hydro hydrogen peroxide. We'll edit that out. All right, thanks. There you have it.